Today we're going to work on something called linear perspective and that means we're drawing things so they look 3D on a flat piece of paper. And you're going to need a white piece of paper. It needs to go up and down and you need a ruler. And with your ruler we're going to draw what's called a horizon line up close to the top of your page. And then we put a little dot on that line. That is called your vanishing point. It's where everything seems to just disappear. From that vanishing point, we need to draw two lines. It's going to make a big triangle. Please draw these really lightly because they're going to get erased later. They're going all the way down to the bottom of the page. Next, we're going to add a winding road to this picture and we're going to make sure it fits inside these two lines. So I'm going to start at the top of the vanishing point and it's going to go back and forth. When it's, I'm going to start on my left and it's going to hit the left line every so often. And as I come farther down, it's going to get farther apart and the curves will be less tight. And then the other side is kind of a copycat line, but it's hitting the opposite line. It's hitting the line on the right. And then once you're this far, we can erase the straight lines. Then if we add trees or posts or anything to the picture, you need to use a ruler, and they will be vertical. Once you make your initial vertical lines for the trunk, then you can have fun with it. This doesn't have to be trees, could be you're making candy land. Just make sure that when they are close to you, they are big, and when they are far, far away, they are small. Now that I have all my trees drawn, I'm going to add to my picture. I'm going to put in a little hill so I can have a creepy house at the top of the hill. And when you're drawing objects in 3D, you always start with the face of the object, the front of it, whatever shape it may be. And in our case, we have a vanishing point. So we have to find corners on the object where we can aim towards the vanishing point and not go through the object. So I can draw a line here towards the vanishing point. And I can't really put one there because it would go through the face. I can't put one here, it would go through the face. The back should be parallel to the front. So this is a vertical line and that's a vertical line. And then you can always make the roof a little thicker. If you have windows on it, let's say I add a round window. Yes, I can go ahead and just make it round, but the bottom also has to line up with the vanishing point. And if I have any extra details on the windows, we have to use the vanishing point. If it's on the face of the object, you draw it normally. So if I have a rickety front porch or something, I don't have to use the vanishing point because it's on the face. Now if I have a balcony sticking out, I will have to use it. So I start with a little rectangle, line up my ruler with the vanishing point in the corner, make a line. Vanishing point, bottom corner, make a line. So this could become a little balcony that sticks out on the house. 